So uh, hello, hello guys. Uh, today we will do the elastoplastic analysis. We will define a load case that will be. We will be modeling an accidental hitting on a column by a traveling crane. Okay, let's do it. Let's switch to the structure. Now go to loads, load types, delete all the load cases previously defined. Now add and make this load case. Let's close now. Go to define, pick this button, and now select X. 120 kilonewtons to simulate the load from the heating crane. Okay, let's add. And now apply this to node 18. Okay, apply. There we have. You may see the load here defined. So, okay. Now we can. Now we can close this. Now we can close this. Close this over here and run the calculations. There we go. Calculations are running. Okay. Now close this. Now we pick the bar number one, which is this one. Right click. Go to object properties and go to code check. This code check is just a simplifying design of the steel bar. There you have. And here we have an error. This column is not sufficient for this load case that we have defined with this load over here. Okay, simulating, simulating uh, a heating crane. So, okay, now we we may close this. Now we need to change the bar section for the elastoplastic analysis. Let's pick this. Select the HEA 204 which is our column and click new okay now let's turn this on elastoplastic analysis okay I'm not going to dive deep on these properties over here it's not about that those are the standard properties that come from the program I'm just going from this program I'm just going to let this as it is okay escape okay now we create a new section by selecting this as you may see here it adds an E and a P elastoplastic now we're going to add now we need also to define the section for the beam which is this one here new and turn on the elastoplastic once again okay let's pick this section and apply to bar number one yes and bar number two okay and define this one here and apply to bar number four which is this beam over here okay very good now we are going to run the calculations I'm just going to close this run the calculations no errors and now we need to check the displacements let's go to results menu displacements and go to the global extremes and we may see here that the displacement is limited to 8.3 centimeters which is not too much regarding that this load is an accidental load as they say in the exercise in the book of the exercise we may also check the displacements in a graphical way let's go to the information exact information for bars apply as you may see here there is this sway of the structure Okay, there is this horizontal displacement over here. We may also check the value and ask for the values here in the parameters. If 
text all apply there we have the 8.3 uh, centimeters that we've got with maximum displacement now we need to save this to finish the exercise go to file save as and add an elastoplastic over here so thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you guys come back soon so see you later